Hello and welcome. This is Victoria Terra coming to you from VictoriaTerraLifestyle.com, the place where you will learn how to build, grow, and create a wildly profitable and successful online business and be on your way to becoming the ultimate lifestyle entrepreneur. Okay, now let's dive into today's episode. In today's episode, I will be sharing with you the power of choice. Something that many people do not have around the world and something that many of us take for granted. We have to remember that we have the power of choice and we should embrace in it. When we decide that we want to make a choice to make a change, our business changes, our lives changes, our family lifestyle changes. If nothing changes, nothing changes. You will still be exactly where you are if you do not choose to make that change. We all have that power and when you don't decide to make that change, you have given up that power. If you let external obstacles stop you or hold you back from making changes and doing things that move you further along in your business, then you've given up the power of choice. You can make that choice. You just have to decide. If the day didn't work out for you the way you want it to, what you do as a reaction is a choice. You can either mope around, let it cripple you, become resentful, and end up doing nothing for the day out of frustration and anger and throw in that towel. Or you can use that towel to wipe the sweat off your damn face, move on to the next thing that you need to do, and let your day continue on productivity and complete another task that takes you closer to your goal. And that ultimately making you feel a wee bit better, right? Well, maybe. I know it feels better than sulking with no results or productivity. No matter what choice you make, that clock will still tick and the time will still get used up. Your life will either get better or worse depending on the choice you decide to make. So what do you think? A lot of people throw in the towel and give up. They use the time to sulk, feel sorry for themselves, and feel bad about not trying hard enough and find a bunch of loser friends to complain to and say that the business they worked so hard on didn't work out for them. You know, the business that they spent probably two hours a day on, if at all working on it, and spent about 50 bucks signing up for it and didn't make the million they thought they would make in a month? Yeah, that business. You see, they have to make a different choice. A choice to first accept and understand that they just signed up for a business and every business requires hard work, especially in the beginning. If they had just made that choice to say to themselves that they deserve this chance and that they will do whatever it takes to get there. If they had made that choice, the outcome would have been different. Who do you want to be? The one that chooses to quit when things get hard or the one that gets up and turn that lemon into lemonade? Make a choice to make the change and a better life for you will be waiting for you. Let me give you an example. If you want to make $100,000 a year, it's not going to happen by chance. It's going to happen by you choosing to do what it takes to make that happen. You will choose to find a vehicle to get you there, meaning selecting a business model that you can work with. You will choose to further educate yourself so you can provide value to the marketplace. You will choose to learn how to use systems and tools like the professionals who use it to leverage their business so they don't get burned out quickly. You will choose to spend as much time as you can to work through learning how to use those systems and tools. You will choose to not waste time playing video games or watching TV and gossip and sit down and prospect. You will choose to do what professionals do because that is what it takes to make the kind of money that you want. It doesn't just happen by chance. It's by the choices that you make and you and only you have the power over those choices. Just like everything else that happens in your life, sometimes you don't have a choice as to why or how they happen, but you have the choice as to how you will react to it. You can let it consume you, or you can choose to use it as a fuel to push you to work harder. The choice is yours. You can choose to live in fear or you can choose to slap fear in the face like Mark Harbert said. You can choose to be happy right now because you are alive and breathing to make that choice or you could choose to be sad and depressed and hopeless. You know how I know choosing to be happy is a choice? 
Because if someone stuck a gun in my head and said, listen, if you choose to be happy right now, genuinely happy, I'll let you live. But if you choose to be sad or depressed, I'm going to blow your brains out. I bet you that instantly, not only me, but anyone in that position would naturally and automatically choose to be happy because they are just probably relieved to be set free. See how quickly perspective suddenly changes? You see my point? Happiness is a choice. It's not always easy, but it's still a choice. Yes, I do understand that for some, it's harder than others to make that choice due to some special circumstances. But there is still hope if they just choose to try it. Choose to try to make one step at a time each day and make one choice that would move them in a positive direction. Eventually, they would overcome any adversity that they face. It ultimately starts with a choice. Your results are going to be based on all the choices that you make. So you have no one else to blame because the power of choice is ultimately yours. So which choice do you want to make? Change and improve your mindset, skill sets, and work through the difficulty of this business and allowing enough time to become proficient and a pro at it with amazing returns that will ultimately leave a legacy to your children? Or choose to give up and be that person who regrets not living life to the fullest and not making a choice to give it a fair chance by working through it. Which one do you want to be? Well, I hope this helped you a little bit and get you going. That's it for now. If this episode inspired you in any way, subscribe from wherever you are consuming this from, as I'm everywhere, and do share with your teammates or friends that need to hear this. Also, head on over to victoriatierlifestyle.com so that you can get access to all my inspiring tips and trainings so you can thrive successfully in your business. And while you're there, don't forget, grab my free ebook. It'll show you exactly what I do to generate a healthy full-time income for myself, and you will also be able to get on my VIP list. That list will allow you access to all of the exclusive trainings and information and tools and resources that is working right now. And don't forget to comment below because you know how much I love your comments and it makes creating these episodes so much more fun for me. So go ahead, comment below and tell me your story. Share with me some of your choices and the outcomes. Are you happy with any of the choices thus far? I'd love to hear from you. All right, I'll see you on the flip side. Again, it's Victoria Terre coming to you from VictoriaTerrLifestyle.com signing off.